thank you for watching 29 days of za creations um this video here i'm going to basically show you how to upload an image to silhouette studio and then i'm going to show you how to use the trace option of silhouette studio i hope this helped let me know if it do if you like more things in silhouette studio i am not a pro at this but i can show you what i know again this is silhouette studio the free edition when you first get on this page it's blank it's literally blank everywhere you go to the top corner you're going to see a folder you can hit that open button there it's going to go to all your pictures and files that you have let me pick a picture of something I think that's going to be kind of easy for us to trace. Um, this is a blippy image. So as you can tell, there's a white background. You can simply go to remove background and remove this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go over here to the butterfly, which is one, two, three, four, five down. Click on that butterfly. I'm going to hit select trace area. So I'm going to select this trace area. We're going to go down and around that. And you know, if you watch the other video where I was telling you to do the offset, I will be using that on this video too. So you see this yellow part? If I was to take that out, you'll see it's not really together. So over here where you select the trace, trace area, you see something that says threshold. You can do 100% and this is what it looks like then. It looks like it's going to be kind of messed up. So let's see what it looks like. I'm going to go back over here to threshold and I'm going to put 90%. That looks more of the image I want. Over here, you're going to hit trace and detach. So we did select trace area, solid fill is it. When we got the threshold, we, we played with the image to basically see exactly which percentage was better. And at, on this image, it was 90%. And when I hit trace and detach, this is what we have. See this white piece of paper? You remove it. Look at that background. So see these little white areas? So it don't move nowhere. So this is my thought on that. I think we should highlight it all. We'll see the little spots of that. I don't like them either. So let's move this over here. Move this over here. Because see, it's not... Sometimes every letter be separate when it's like that. So we're going to put the machine back here. Whatever Blippi is playing with at this moment. Y'all, I watch so much Blippi with my son. I think we didn't, I've seen every season. So we have this back set. And see, we have this white background. So if I wanted to put this on a, a white shirt, a black shirt, and you want to do an offset, that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to highlight the image. And like I said in previous vi video, I'm going to right click. And I'm going to click offset. My offset is right here. I'm going to click this star here. Because you have the enter, if you want, or the offset which is the off see this red line right here it's already there I'm going to move this over to the side we're gonna move this over to the side and I'm going to fill it so I want this background to be white at the top right here I'm going to click this make that white where you see it's supposed to be I guess transparent it I'm going to make that white so here got my white background let's put blippy right back here and kind of center him Now, if you want to make this big, bigger, you can. You really can. But what I'm trying to do is a little white part that was kind of right here that was white. So if I'm going to keep that white part and not go to remove background, I'm just going to do an offset as white. Then I'm going to highlight it all, and we're going to right-click and hit group. Now we have one image. We're ready to print it out on sublimation paper, dark transfer paper, um, the sublimation slash inkjet paper if you want to, eco solvent, whatever you want. But this is how we trace an image and add a offset to it in Silhouette Studio.
If you like this video, give me thumbs up. Make sure you click that bell to see the next time a new video drop. Until then, thank you for listening and looking at Zy Creation 17 and happy crafting.